we will see the density functional theory a lecture 4 uh, about the Kohenberg Kahn theorems. Last three lectures about the density function, functional theory, we have seen some uh, fundamental aspect, uh, but the most of the theorems are wave function phased. The density functional theory which allow us to find the ground state properties of a system without dealing directly with the many electron state uh, that is a cat side. This method is not a wave function based as mentioned earlier, it is based on density functional. Uh, the ground state energy from the Schrodinger equation is a unique functional of electron density. So this is the important uh, points about the density functional theory. In my previous lecture, we have seen the Thomas uh, Kirby model um, about the density functional theory, uh, but uh, the drawback of Thomas Fermi model is it ignores electron electron and the nuclear electron interaction. Uh, that is uh, electron electron and uh, nuclear electron uh, interactions are treated in a classical way. That means the exchange and the correlation effects are uh, neglected. Now we will see the uh, Kagan Park Kang theorem. Uh, there are two theorem uh, by Kagan Park and Kang. Uh, we will see the first theorem. This theory was developed during 1964. Uh, remember that uh, Thomas Perny uh, theory was developed during 1927 itself. Uh, so this is uh, after that this is developed during uh, 1964 this uh, theorem state that the external potential uh, v of r is unique functional of the density uh, here the external potential fixes the hamiltonian As uh, now I will briefly e explain and prove the Kahn Park uh, Kahn first theorem. Uh, let us consider there are two external potential. Uh, one is uh, V external A uh, and uh, another one is V external P which is a function of uh, radial coordinate. Uh, the corresponding Hamiltonians are HA, HP. HA is for external potential A and HP for uh, external potential P. Uh, the ha Hamiltonian HA is equal to the kinetic energy and the electron electron interaction potential, and all other factors uh, are included in the external potential. So HA is equal to T plus V E plus V external A and uh, Hamiltonian for uh, the uh, external potential P is equal to the kinetic energy plus the electron electron interaction plus the uh, external potential P. Uh, this uh, external potential take care of all the corrections so we can uh, calculate uh, 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 in, a, uh, in a better way comparing other method. Uh, the, uh, here we can notice between HA and HP, the Hamiltonian operator only differ by the external potential. Uh, all that kinetic energy uh, operator and the ele electron electron potential are the same. Only the difference is the external potential. I want to highlight that point. Uh, the Hamiltonian belongs to two different uh, ground state wave function and the ground state energies. Let us say uh, that uh, that is psi A and psi B. Uh, we have taken uh, two different uh, wave function and two different energy. The energy correspond to the wave function A is E naught A, that is ground state energy for E. 
and the current state energy for P is E not P respectively. Here we assumed that E not A is not equal to E not P. The heaven third term first theorem. Uh, let us take the psi B as our trial value person. Uh, that means uh, the E not of A uh, that is ground state energy for the wave function, uh, sorry, wave function A is uh, less than that of the expectation value of a uh, Hamiltonian wave with respect to the trial wave function psi B. Uh, so HA can be written as HA by adding and subtracting HP, that is HA plus HP minus HP. So that is nothing but the expectation value of HA with respect to trial wave function psi P. So this can be rewritten as we take HP first, so this will become uh, expectation value of HP with respect to psi P and plus the HA minus HP, second term, remaining term is HA minus HP, the expectation value of HA minus HP. Uh, here the expectation value of HP is equal to uh, E naught P, that is the uh, ground state energy of the uh, wave function uh, psi P. So HP A, expectation value of HP is equal to E naught P. Uh, similarly, we have seen that uh, the only difference between the Hamiltonian uh, uh, Hamiltonian is with the external potential. So only uh, the difference between the Hamiltonian uh, A and P, that is HA minus HP, it depends only by the external potential that we have seen already. Uh, that is uh, the difference between HA minus HP uh, is equal to the difference in the external potential BA minus BP. Uh, that is, uh, it is nothing but the external potential of uh, expectation value of Hmm. Difference in external potential with respect to the trial wave function psi p. So this can be rewritten as the expectation value of uh, B A minus P P can be written as in a, in the integral form. The integral uh, rho as a uh, as a function of radial coordinate into the external difference in the external potential V A minus V P. Uh, with respect to the integration is with respect to the radial coordinate T R. This can be taken as equation 1. So finally we have seen uh, that uh, E naught A is uh, less than E naught uh, P plus the integral uh, integral of, uh, rho as a function of radial coordinate into the difference in the external potential integral uh, with respect to the radial coordinate which is uh, which we call uh, as equation 1. Now let us take psi A as our uh, trial wave function and follow the same procedure as above. Uh, then naturally this is uh, only the log A P will get interchanged. Uh, uh, that is uh, easily you can understand because instead of uh, psi P we are taken psi A as our trial function. So naturally only change in label. So uh, compare the equation 1 and change the label A to P, P to A. So this will become uh, E naught P is less than E naught A plus the integral of this part. Here you not, uh, notice uh, integral rho uh, into the uh, difference in external potential V B minus V B A. In equation 1 it is V A minus V P. Here it is V B. 
minus V A plus V Y interchange to the label. If you add these two equation, uh, naturally you will get um, E not A plus E not P is less than E not P plus uh, E not A. Finally, we arrived at the expression uh, E not A plus A. E not P is less than uh, E not P plus E not A, uh, which is a contradicted result because uh, uh, this cannot be true. So naturally, uh, there cannot be two different external potential. Uh, so this is the best proof of Kahanpa Khan theorem. Uh, that is which says the external potential uh, V uh, as a function of R is unique functional of uh, uh, unique functional of uh, rho that is which is a function of rho. So this is the very simple proof for uh, the Kahan Parkan uh, first theorem. Now let us see the second theorem. Now we will see the uh, Kahan-Bad Kahn uh, theorem, that is second theorem. And the ground state of a system can be obtained by using variational method. I have explained this so many times about the variational principle. At the given uh, external potential B, if we minimize the system energy as much as we can uh, with varying electron density, then we will reach the ground state energy. Uh, this is called variational principle in the framework of uh, density functional theory. And the electron density that minimizes the system energy is the ground state electron density rho naught. Uh, this can be explained by the following expression. E as uh, so a functional of rho prime, here rho prime is the trial uh, density which is equal to uh, the energy due to uh, Hagen per Khan uh, that the uh, HK represent Hagen per Khan uh, which is a functional of rho and uh, plus the external energy which is also a functional of rho. Uh, which is greater than or equal to uh, ground state energy. Where the FHK functional of rho is nothing but the uh, kinetic energy which is a functional of rho and the, uh, and the electron electron interaction energy which is also a functional of rho. Uh, this comes from the Hamiltonian uh, which uh, we have described already that is uh, sum of uh, the kinetic energy and the kinetic energy operator sorry so since H is an operator H is equal to sum of kinetic energy operator plus uh, electron electron interaction plus the external potential. The first two, two term uh, is uh, called uh, the uh, hot uh, Kahan per Khan functions. Uh, so next one is uh, for external potential. So this is a very logic to mention uh, that uh, uh, energy uh, functional of uh, of a trial uh, density uh, rho rho as a function of R is equal to uh, F H K functional rho plus the external energy functional rho which is greater than or equal to the ground state energy. This is the uh, second theorem which will be very well understood. Uh, by the logical argument, we need not uh, derive this expression. And also this theorem offers us a very flexible and powerful means of finding the ground state energy and other properties. Once we find the uh, ground state energy, we can find the Hamiltonian 
at the crown state uh, once you find the camel tunnel means you can find all the property related to uh, the uh, crown state energy this is the one of the important uh, properties of Hagantar Khan theorem. In my next lecture, we will see the Hansom equation. Thank you for watching my videos.